As some of you know, we've spent the last few days with no running water because the line broke in our water district. So I got to try out a lot of things and I made some videos. And one of the things that I had mentioned was uh, the using the body wipes that I had done a video with. And as good as they work, they work phenomenally. Look how many we went through that was almost full. So I came up with this idea to make a towel size wet wipe with the same stuff in it, except using material, a soft material, and something as big as like a pillowcase. So what I did, and this worked out great, go find a pillowcase at a thrift shop and feel find a nice one. This is obviously a really high cotton count because it's really soft. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half and make two bathing towels out of it. Now the idea behind it is that we can use them and then we can wash them and then we can reuse them. So for certain parts of our body we will still use these, but this will do a really great job of giving yourself a bath when you have no water. What I'm going to do is I use the pinking shears these are awesome because you don't have to hem your material and I use that for many projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut So now I have two towels. Now this is the equivalent of about six to eight or more of these wet wipes in size. So this will be plenty for bathing. And it's a pretty thin material, but again it's really soft. And then I have the warm water already, and I'm going to put in one tablespoon of coconut oil. And one tablespoon of some castle soap. And then a couple, just a splash of my colloidal silver. I said in my other video, this will help keep it antimicrobial. And inside the Ziploc baggie, it will stay well preserved. It, it won't rot or mold or anything. So. You don't have to put them in there, especially if you're going to go weekend camping or something. You know, you won't have to worry about it. All right. Now, since I'm taking these camping, I have a wood, earthen wood, and cypress essential oils. So that is what I'm going to put in here. So now what I'm going to do pour it over. I'm sure you could just work it in. It doesn't take too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one out. I'm going to show this to you. I'm just going to squeeze it out like that. Now you have a whole size towel for washing down and it's reusable. So when you're at camp, if you're just using kind of junk rags and things like that, when you're done taking a bath with it, you can just integrate it into one of your camp towels. And, or you can just bring it home, throw it back in the Ziploc baggie, bring it home and wash it and reuse it for your next camp out. Now when I package it, I squeeze out the excess 
but not really hard. I don't want it to drip when I'm holding it like this. I don't want it to drip. But I also don't want it to, when I'm washing myself with it and I'm pressing down, I don't want it to do that either. So just a good squeeze. You can kind of, you know, get a feel for it. So that's, that's about how I like it. I'm going to the Snake River for a few days, so I'm going to bring both. So I'm just going to slide those in like that. And then I still like to bring these, so usually when I go camping, I just roll a bunch of these out. I'm not very pretty about it. And I'll just stick those in there too. Just crunch it down. And there you go. Very thin, very small. And this is enough for two days of ba bathing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hi, Heidi here. I'm back. I actually wanted to add that there's enough liquid left over after doing a couple of these where you can do at least two more. So I'm going to go ahead and, and grab a, another pillowcase and just go ahead and, and uh, get a couple more of these and I'll make a set for my husband. Thanks for watching.